We're going to look at calculating forces on inclined planes without friction. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to label all of our forces on the force diagram, and then we're going to rotate the diagram such that the surface of the ramp is parallel to the horizontal, so our horizontal. We're going to make a new triangle with normal force and its components. We're going to find the components of normal using the force of gravity, which is equivalent to the y component. Um, so force of normal is equal to the y component of force of gravity. And then we use SOHCAHTOA to find the normal force. So that sounded like a whole bunch, but let's watch it. Okay, so first thing we want to do is we want to label all of our forces. So of course we have FG that goes straight down. And then we're going to have to rotate to get our normal force here. So let's see. Okay, so I'm going to rotate here. So normal should be parallel to that. Excuse me, not parallel. Perpendicular comes straight off the surface. There, there's my normal. All right, and I don't have friction, right? And do I have an applied force or is gravity providing my applied force? Hopefully you said that gravity is providing the applied force, but we know it's sliding, so we know that, oops, we know that our F net is gonna be this way. Okay, so the applied force is gonna be coming from gravity here. Gravity is what's dragging the box down. Okay, so this was first step. Second step is to rotate the diagram so that now your horizontal with the surface of contact here. So here's our surface of contact. So now this is horizontal. So we just rotated our paper. Okay, so the value that we, um, values that we know at this point is we know that there is a 30 degree angle here. We know that the mass is 10. So if we know the mass is 10, we can figure out FG. Um, that's an A there. So FG and the angle are really all we know. So we've got to work off gravity. Well, we want to draw the opposite of normal because that's going to be a component of gravity. So across from normal, draw a component of gravity. And then at a 90 degree angle from that. Okay. So basically what we have is we have a F of G and the Y and an F of G and the X, the way we've drawn this. And then F of G. We can find F of G by doing the mass times the acceleration. So our mass was 10, our acceleration is 10, so our FG is 100. Our negative 100, but we're just gonna do 100 because we're working in absolute values for right now. We can add directions later. And originally, our angle over here was 30 degrees. When we make this triangle, it flips using a bunch of fancy geometry that I'd be glad to point you to some flipping physics videos to show you all that. But basically that top one becomes our 30 degrees then. Okay, so now we're trying to find um, the component of normal, um, which is force due to gravity in the Y. And then we want to find the F net which is going to be this guy, and we already found FG. All right, so let's go find F of GY. So I have this angle, and I have that, so that's going to be cosine of 30 degrees is equal to my adjacent, which is my FGY, over my hypotenuse. All right, do a little bit of fancy math, and we get our... FGY, which is opposite, equal in magnitude to our force no normal to be. Okay, so that's 86.6 newtons. And then we're going to use sine to find our x value. So sine of 30 equals our FGX over our hypotenuse, 
So now we have sine 30 and then times our 100. So we get our FGX, which is equal to our F net to be 50 newtons. All right, I know that's a lot, so let's look at the second example of this. So first off, we need to draw ourselves a diagram. So here is our inclined plane. Here's our box. And we need to put forces on it. So we've got force due to gravity. And we've got normal. And then we're working with frictionless. So F net will be going this way because it's sliding down. Okay, so now we need to start doing some of our flipping. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this guy sideways. Move it up a little bit there. Have somewhere to write. Okay. So, let's see. We want to draw a triangle opposite normal, including gravity. That top value, that's going to be our angle. So, that's going to be 40 degrees. And then our F of G is going to come from the size of our box. See, I remember 25. So F G equals mass times gravity. So that's going to be 25 whoops, times 10. So 250 is F G. Okay, so that's 250. Okay, so there's our FG. <clears throat> and then we're going to use sine and cosine to find FGY. And FGX. Okay, so we've got sine of 40 degrees is equal to... And you see here's my 40 degrees, so opposite of it is going to be my FGX over my hypotenuse, which means that my FGX, which is equivalent to my F net, is equal to 160 newtons. And then if I come do cosine 40, equals FGY over 250, then I get my FGY, which is my normal, to be 191.5 newtons. So there's my normal, there's my net, there's my gravity.